fun of my mom a lot, so she actually issued a statement to say if I ever want to mention her on stage. <laughs> she, she's my role model, so let's not talk about her. Callie, are you really writing this down, or is this all just a joke to you like everything else? <laughs> well, she got that right, but I am really excited to be here. I'm here, Sarah Schaefer's here. <laughs> one of us is an incredible up-and-coming force in comedy, and the other one, I don't know, Sarah, you want some Emmys, I don't know what you did. <laughs> but, I, I just want to get real with you guys. Like, I know religion is a really touchy subject, but we're just going to get right down to it. Have you ever thought, like, what if Beyonce was one of us? <laughs> like, just, just a stranger on the bus. <laughs> the real, what does she do in her spare time? I'm sorry if your brain is hurting from this religious philosophy. <laughs> but these are the things I think about. Like, do you think in the Illuminati meeting space. <laughs> do they have magazines? Like, do they have mag Like, we always read about celebrities or whatever, but do they, like, try to keep up their act and they read about us? Like, <laughs> that's honestly the only magazine I can picture Beyonce reading. Like, I just imagine her, like, in her palace, just, like, sitting on her throne. And then Solange and Michelle Williams. <laughs> They're holding each side of the magazine because Beyonce just got her nails done and they have nothing better to do. Like, what else do they do? They just hang around her, like, why wouldn't you? And Beyonce's just sitting there reading her normal people time, just, Jay, and that's why Beyonce impression really good. Jay says here, Callie was spotted outside of a CVS wearing a Blame Jameis shirt with a bag with a bag of Advil and laxatives and NyQuil. Um, Jay, Jay, what's a CVS? <laughs> you know, Beyonce has no idea what a CVS is because CVS is for physical humans with like physical human problems. Beyonce is not one of us. She doesn't have to drink NyQuil and wine, you know, for everything. <laughs> she deal with that stuff. But I'm, very sorry, Beyonce, but <laughs> she is. She is just a slob like one of us. I hope you guys heard about her photoshopping incident last a couple weeks ago-ish. Um, if you don't know, her Instagram was totally like attacked because she Instagrammed this like bikini picture of her, but everything else in the picture was like super wavy. Like clearly it was doctored. And I'm no like professional photographer, I'm not in the industry, but I did attend the four year long beauty pageant that is Florida State Greek Life. <laughs> so I know about editing the shit out of pictures. <laughs> Come on, Beyonce, like I know how to make myself look more like sexually appetizing without like making a wine glass look like it's defying the laws of physics. Like B, hire someone, like what? <laughs> But yeah, I mean, guilty, like every girl in this room probably like I have edited some of my pictures, but I feel like I have been going at it wrong this whole time. Like what I'm gonna start doing is making myself like shorter, wider. I'm gonna dim my teeth down and I'm gonna really kick up my lazy eye that I was born with. Just really amp it up because I want when people like see me in person, Lord. <laughs> Dude, I can't, you're gonna be like a mythical unicorn, like, dude, I can't, I can't even explain it. You have to see her in person. <laughs> do her justice. Whoa, that, how does that wine glass stand up on its own? Like, that weird ass wine glass. No, but really, no Photoshop. I did just lose 10 pounds. Yeah? Like, a few of my friends have been asking me, they're like, do you not eat anything with gluten in it? Do you not eat anything with, like, any joy in it? And I'm like, I just don't eat anything. Um, that's the end of that sentence. <laughs> no, anorexia is not a joke, you guys. Um, someone told me that I don't have the thighs to pull off that joke. <laughs> but, but she's my role model, so. <laughs> talk about her. But really though, like if I have one body tip, just one body tip, if you guys wanna write this down, do it. 
whatever. Um, it's to truly, truly, to your core, just hate yourself. Because <laughs> you are never going to be able to mentally, like you could say like, oh, the calories, blah, blah, but you cannot mentally convince yourself that pizza is not good unless someone offers you a slice of pizza and in your head you're just like, I am a fat, stupid, <laughs> stupid whore. And in the hierarchy of life, it's humans, there's animals, plants, cockroaches, Kim Kardashian, and me. I don't, I don't deserve this pizza. That's the only way, you guys, and then you lose the weight like that. Because there's this little thing, there's this little thing called confidence. That's what tells, you gotta get rid of that. Cause that's the thing that tells you, girl, you look good. Boys love it. And you are more than your body image. Have the pizza, you, you're an intelligent woman, you deserve it. Confidence is also the voice that said, Beyonce, you are a world-class singer. You are an amazing, fierce, Sasha Fierce, if you will, dancer. And you are super skilled at Photoshop, girl. Edit it. No one's gonna notice, girl. Have confidence. So basically, if you want to get anything done, if you want to better yourself, you gotta just get rid of the confidence and just truly, to your core, just hate everything about yourself. But I don't have to be giving you horrible, horrible advice because you guys came here. You guys could have been next door face full of ribs, neck deep in queso, whatever rainbow margarita they're specialing now, I don't know. But you came here, so give a round of applause for yourself. Yeah. Give a round of applause for Club Down Under for having me. And without further ado,